Chi Sun. I'm a geospatial analyst in RPS. I like to have a look at the world map when I was young. So, uh, and I think that's that's the initial passion for geography. I got uh, a master's degree uh, in geography in university. I discovered that I have a passion for big scale projects. So after graduation, I uh, went to uh, want to pursue the career in urban planning. I was an urban planner and a GIS consultant in another global consultancy in Beijing, in China, for over 11 years. And then I moved to Australia and in 2021, I joined RPS as a geospatial analyst. As a geospatial analyst, my work uh, revolves around geospatial data. It can be compared with the cook, the work of cook in the kitchen. Uh, so for a cook, uh, the start with collection of the ingredients. And for me, my work begin by collecting the raw data. Uh, and then I will clean, clean up and tidy the data. So it's just like the cook just chopping the ingredients into the right size and shape. And then um, I will uh, analyze and interpret the data. That's kind of uh, like the cook just cooking the ingredients and saying ingredients can come out with a different cooking method. Uh, with different types or into different dishes. Then at last, I will export the data into figures or graphs or charts, and that will be uh, the final deliverables. And that is just like the cook uh, will display the dishes. But the difference is uh, my integrants, my data, uh, they, they can be reused and they can be managed in our database. I'm working on a marine science job, uh, which is an offshore wind farm project. Uh, the final deliverable will be a constraints uh, reports, and I need to collect all the data sets uh, from different uh, sources. Then I will overlay all the layers to combine them into a constraints map, and that will go into the final report. I think as a geospatial analyst, I uh, we need to uh, have the basic fundamental technical skills. Second, uh, I think the special analysts need to be uh, adaptable uh, since this field evolves uh, quickly. And I think uh, the last is attention to detail. Since uh, one error of the data uh, will lead the scientist to another direction. So we need to be very uh, meticulous with our work uh, to make our outcomes reliable. I think geospatial analysts need to combine technical, uh, scientific thinking and the creative uh, aspect. Since we need to be very logical when we're building models or processing the data, and at the same time, when we're creating the figure, uh, want to present the data, make sure it's good looking and, and it's clear uh, to, to express all the things behind the data. We all know that ChatGPT <laughs> is, is coming and uh, I think that uh, AI or new technology will automatically create the figures from the data and that will have more the, the work that can be done automatically. So I think what a geospatial analyst uh, will do in the future, I think will be uh, more like the, the communication and to organize the data and to build the models. I think that will be the trend of the, this industry.